So I start with these pack of seashells that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were $3.99, regular price, and they came three in a pack. Then I have some Wise Owl matte varnish, a Gen foam brush, and then a pack of napkins of your choice. I got these, I believe, from Christmas Tree Shop. And I took some of my varnish and put it on a plate. And I removed the ply from the napkin. So on the napkin package, it will say the number of plies. And that's the number of layers you want to remove from your napkin. So I took my seashell. And using the varnish, I just put some on the inside of the shell. And then I took my napkin with the print side facing up. And I laid it down into the shell. Now I just cut off any extra napkin that I had. And I took more varnish and I just put it around the edges of the shell so I could easily tear my napkin from it being a little more wet. And then you want to make sure that you put some varnish on top of the napkin after it laid down. And I basically repeated this for all three shells. So again, you just put varnish on the inside where you want to decoupage. And the varnish is Wise Owl Matte Finish. Once you have your napkin laid down, you can apply some varnish on top of it. And if the edges are wet, it's easy to remove the excess. And here I just take like a Ziploc bag and a saran wrap works good as well. And you just want to rub it on top and this will help eliminate any bubbling. And then I did this on my third shell. And for each shell, I just changed the pattern that I laid down on top of it. And you will also see us use the one hour enamel clear to decoupage as well. Now once they were fully dry, I took these half inch round ball pieces that I got from Hobby Lobby, 18 pack for 250. And using some E6000, I attached three of the round balls onto the bottom of each shell. Now this is an industrial strength glue and it does need to sit for several hours to dry. So then I just took some blue painter's tape to make sure that my balls did not roll off the shell. Now once they dried, I took some Higgins Lake Wise Owl paint and I just painted each ball. Now you can certainly paint them before you glue them on, but it was easier for me to do it this way. And there you go. Now we just have these cute trinket dishes and you can do this with any napkin of your choice. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com and don't forget to check out some other tutorials on our YouTube or our webpage. Have a good day.